The Holy War Army was founded in Palestine in two phases. The first phase was in 1936 when the commanders of the underground guerrilla groups were invited to a gathering in Quds city. They decided to integrate their forces into a united army called the Holy War Army led by Abdul Qadir Hosseini. In the same year, this army set out to mountainous areas to start their operations there. The first bullet was shot by Abdul Qadir Hosseini in Deir Surin village northwest of Quds as a sign of the beginning of this army's operations. As more Palestinian guerrillas joined the army, it launched an audacious fight against British occupying forces and Zionists. The army's most important operation was called Khas, which happened in the same year which it was founded. Moreover, they attacked dozens of military bases where British occupying forces had gathered. During these attacks, the devastation group led by Fuzi Qarib managed to carry out explosions in bridges, boats, railways, and the enemy's transport routes. This group also disabled the phone line and the pipeline carrying oil from Iraq to Haifa. In 1937, the Holy War Army managed to liberate many of Palestinian main cities, including the ancient part of Quds. In 1938, during major battles, the army liberated some Zionist towns and the headquarters of the British colonists. British government mobilized large number of forces to suppress Palestinian guerrillas and inflicted a heavy blow on the army. These conditions continued until the end of this revolution in 1939. The second phase of the Holy War Army's formation occurred in 1947 when Abdul Qadir Hosseini reconstructed this army in the Subid village located in Al Khalil city. Then in a meeting in Quds, the Holy War forces announced their reformation which aimed at liberating Palestine and maintaining its sovereignty and identity. It was decided in the meeting that this army work in Palestine under the supervision of Arab League. In the new structure of the Holy War Army, Abdul Qadir Husseini was elected as the chairman, Kamil Ali Qadir was elected as the vice president, and Qasr Rimavi was elected as the secretary general. For each Palestinian province, a specific commander was appointed who obeyed the commands of the leadership council. Regarding the structure of this army, it consisted of combatant soldiers who were responsible for combat operations, volunteer forces who were responsible for protecting villages, and the battalions of devastation and assassination who were responsible for assassinating Zionists and British mercenaries and spies who paved the way for deployment of Zionist forces in Palestine and fought against Palestinian identity. The Holy War Army tried hard to obtain weapons. For example, they dispatched some groups to the Egyptian desert as well as to Libya to gather the weapons left from El Yamin War and repair them to be used in their own battles. Moreover, they signed some contracts under the name of Syria with weapon manufacturing factories of Czechoslovakia. But Zionists prevented this deal from going ahead. As the conflicts increased in Palestine, the Holy War Army was reconstructed and its forces were divided into seven areas which covered the whole Palestine. The leadership of the forces in Quds area was delegated to Abdul Qadir Hosseini who had dealt successful attacks to Zionists and police stations of British colonists in Quds. Pressures placed on Zionist neighborhoods 
forced their people to ask their leaders in demonstrations to retreat and confess to the failure of the plan for establishing a Jewish state in Palestine. Abdul Qadir Husseini led the Astra War with matchless bravery and achieved martyrdom in the course of this war. After Husseini's martyrdom, the battalion leaders of the Holy War Army gathered in Quds again and delegated the leadership to Khalid al Husseini. In 1940, Jordan government commanded this army to be dissolved but these forces maintain their stances. In the end, the Arab League decided on the dissolution of this army in 1949.